well hello and welcome back again to another video in this video we're gonna look at uh, creating this uh, Joomla transitions as you can see right now on your screen now the first example is moving back uh, four frames and the second example is moving back 10 frames to clearly see how it works so let's get started so we got two video clips here already on the timeline so what we need to do now is um, apply the transform effect to it so let's go to the effects panel here and then uh, let's just uh, click this go to um, main video effects and go to the transform distort and perspective and select the transform and apply this to the first clip and also apply to the second clip now while we're here the playhead is right in the center of the two clips so you can jump from one frame to another to make it easy for us to see how it works let's move back uh, 10 frames so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 and then um, add a keyframe uh, from here let's move back to um, center again the playhead so just place the playhead in the center and make sure to be one frame so that this video clip will be shown on the display and uh, from here let's um, add another keyframe and change the value of size to 200 now let's jump to this other clip here so I'll simply hit um, moving towards up front uh, one keyframe and then um, here we just type in 200 and then let's move back in uh, 10 frames so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 and then add another keyframe and change this value to 100 okay so this is how it's gonna look like now and the next thing is to add the blur effects now if we type in blur in the search box here so most of this uh, blur effect doesn't have the options of adding a keyframe so what we need to do now is to apply the box the box blur and the square blur does have the options of adding keyframes so let's um use the blur box and apply to this clip here and also apply to the second clip now while we are here uh, let's just change the value of this to zero and let's do the same for this other one change the value of this to zero the blur factor and now uh, once we're there uh, let's go back to the transform and select this keyframe the first keyframe here so we can see the marker and now let's go down to the um, blur effect here and add a uh, keyframe here then go towards the end and then move back one frame like this and add another keyframe and in the blur factor just change this to somewhere around 20 or 30 up to you so you have this kind of blur here and then the horizontal multiplicator or vertical multiplicator you can use any of these so let's use the horizontal for this one then let's go somewhere like 20 or 24 uh, for example and then let's jump back to uh, this other clip here and then uh, in the blur factor again let's do the same so this one is 20 and uh, this time we're gonna use because we use the horizontal for this other clip we will use vertical for this other clip so this one vertical so let's just go vertical something like that and then move uh, 10 frames so 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 and then uh, add a keyframe and change all of value to 0 okay so that's um with this one here let's jump to this other one here and see so this is how it's gonna work now so it zoom in and then zoom out again in the other clip so what we can do now is to add a little bit of a sound effect to it so I've got this uh, sound effect here and now we can have a listen to this uh, effect okay so thank you again for watching and this is the end of this video and thank you to those who have subscribed to our channel thank you very much uh, from the bottom of our heart we would like to thank all of you who have subscribed and uh, thank you again and see you back again in another video